Now joining me in studio for more in the, on this is the minister himself, Minister Moseben Zizwane, joins me in studio. Very good afternoon to you, Minister. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Good afternoon, Audrey, and the uh, viewers at home. Of course, a tragedy with uh, Kusasa led to mind with, with the loss of lives, five of them. And just to quote what you have been saying in the media, that this is a turning point in the mining industry and that you'll have to look at regulatory processes when it comes to safety in mines. What exactly do you mean by this? Well, you'll remember after consultation with uh, stakeholders and seeing the situation at that time, we relaxed a bit in terms of section 54, section 55, and begin to engage uh, verbally um, without disregarding totally the, the law. What we were saying is that uh, we need to get to a point where we all understand in this industry that the lives of people cannot be replaced. It does not mean when a miner is passed on and you take a brother to come and replace or the son, um, you are replacing the dead person. We are saying we have committed ourselves when it comes to zero harm. People must come to work and go back alive. We are engaging in strict measures in terms of applying law. We are going to go back and consult with all the stakeholders, we want to launch a campaign as a PEP in this sector and then ensure that the good work that has been there is being escalated up until all these mines are able to spend 12 months, 24 months and so forth without people, be, people being killed. Mm -hmm. We will not relax. We are going to escalate. We will be seen ourselves in these minds uh, without any occurrence, but coming to say, how are, how are you doing? Right. Can we inspect one, two, three? And this is what you did at Kusasa Letu Mine. Um, you went onto the premises, but there hasn't been clarity with regards to the seismic report, the issue of um, where it is lo um, where the mine was located. I understand three kilometers below ground. Um, what, what kind of a challenge does this pose? Because we're trying to look at the root of the problem when it comes to these accidents. Well, we must say um, the fact of the matter is that we are leading in terms of the technology when it comes to the, to the depth of mining, especially gold. We are around four kilometers now, and that leaf has its own challenges when it comes to these accidents. Uh, we acknowledge the fact that this mine had run for 16 months without any occurrence, but what we are saying is that we are going to conduct an investigation and uh, in front of the chairperson uh, Mr. Mutsipe, we did agree that uh, whatever the report comes with, we will implement to ensure that this becomes a turning point. Right. We can't be talking forever when people are dying. And you've been championing the issue of the mining charter and it being transformed. Is there a provision within the transformation that miners can run to and um, somehow get some kind of, um, you know, some kind of relief or some kind of compensation? Um, which was something that wasn't provided for before? Well, the mining charter is about empowerment, economic empowerment. We have a number of laws that protect our workers. These are the laws we are going to implement. We have inspe inspectors that normally goes to these mines and write reports to ensure that from time to time we are visible. We have said to our inspectors, we are going to demand those reports biannually to ensure that if there's any hotspot, we attend to it immediately. Mm. And yet the Chamber of Mines seems to still be challenging this transformation of the mining charter. What other challenges are you facing as you go ahead and try to make sure that the policies that, have, that you want changed in this mining charter are implemented eventually? Well, it is the unwillingness of some of the stakeholders uh, because people are beginning to come forward now to say, Minister, 
we want to work with you. And we welcome that. Only the few who still say we want transformation, but we think uh, this is not the right time. We are saying as government, there will never be a time when business says in this country and elsewhere, this is the right time for transformation. Because to them, transformation is a painful exercise that we must acknowledge. But on the other hand, it is our work, our duty as government to see to it that what we have promised our people to transform this country and ensure that the mineral resources of the country uh, makes everybody's life better, becomes a reality, not a story. Right. And of course, congratulations are in order. Your ministry got a clean audit report. Um, going forward, as you try to maintain um, this, so we say, you know, a reproachable um, um, a record, in terms of safety, I don't know if you've really clarified what needs to happen when we, because we keep on seeing this happening. We saw what happened a few months ago at Levy Mine. Now we see this happening at Kusasa led to practical measures to make sure that miners do not lose their lives. Well, we welcome the first clean audit report of the department since the dawn of democracy. It is not my work alone, it's a collective effort and we endeavor to keep it that way because it shows that we are doing things right. It's not our report, it's a report by AG. He has, uh, the team has pointed out some issues that we, we need to address and uh, my team is ready to address those issues and those issues will also include what we have raised in ensuring that our workers are safe as they work. The, 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 the rules and the laws that we have are implemented to the latter without any fear or favor. Right. And Minister, are you also ready for the Kosar to strike? I understand there's a looming um, a strike that could happen any second from now. How Have the talks been successful at all, or is it something that's not going to happen going forward? Well, uh, we, we always have an open-door policy, but you'll know the main players when it comes to this is actually the Department of Labor. We are saying from where we are standing, um, let the parties as they negotiate be reasonable and be responsible. We are ready to support uh, their agreement so that the sector does not continue to share more jobs. As you can see in every sector during this time, jobs are being shared. And I don't think that's what the country needs. We need to be responsible as we engage. If we can actually be able to negotiate and avoid the strike. That will be the first prize to the people of South Africa, to the department and everybody. And I want to urge uh, the parties negotiating to look at that and see if it can be one of the options in resolving whatever hiccups they have. Of course, Minister, thank you so much for your time. We certainly appreciate it. I understand that you have to rush. Minister Musabin Zizwari joining me in studio there discussing the issue at Kusasa to the tragedy there and uh, the measures that will be put in place by ministry as they try to tighten um, the stringent, uh, the, the, the ropes to make sure that safety is uh, a priority when it comes to mines in South Africa.